Hi everybody and welcome to the first chapter of this course. Just to give you a rough idea what we're going to cover in the course as a whole. So in this chapter we're just going to learn the basics. We are going to create something like this, which consists of seamless tiles, which we are going to create in Krita. We are going to use Inkscape to create the background, the sky background, and we are also going to drag and drop these tiles in Inkscape to create our digital art tile map world. By the way, this course is part of a larger course. You can find the course on Udemy and Skillshare. If you're interested, you can find the link in the description. So in this introduction video, we are first going to have a closer look at the course roadmap. After that, we are going to have a closer look at the contents of this chapter. And then we're going to talk quickly about the prerequisites of this course. Finally, we are going to talk about how to get the best out of this course. So we are currently in chapter one. In short, we are going to learn about creating individual seamless tiles, and then we're going to learn how to use Inkscape to use those tiles to create a tile map. Chapter two is going to be all about so-called cheats in Krita. In short, we are going to learn to use some of Krita's advanced tools to add assets like these. One of the things we will be learning is how to transform high resolution pictures into pixel art. Some people would consider this cheating because Krita's tools and algorithms are doing most of the heavy lifting and we are not really drawing ourselves. But in my opinion, it's not really cheating. It's just taking advantage of technology. There is something to be said for doing things the old fashioned way because it helps you to get more insight. But on the other hand, why make your own life harder when you can use these tools in Krita to make your life easier? And finally, in chapter three, we are going to make this top-down map. Some of the interesting things we will learn is how to make images and photographs seamless. And we are also going to learn how to make tiles which are rotationally seamless. In other words, tiles which we can rotate and they will still be seamless with the neighboring tiles. At the time of recording this, I haven't finished chapter 2 or chapter 3 yet. Follow me or subscribe or whatever you want to call it to make sure you don't miss out on these chapters when they come out. So for more detail of what we are going to learn in this chapter, we are going to learn how to use a lot of tools in Inkscape and Krita what I call technical skills. And we're also going to get some hand-on practice with some what I call creative skills, specifically in this course about pixel art. For a more detailed list, I've created this self-evaluation checklist, which you can read through. And at the end of this course, you can use it to evaluate your own progress and make sure that you have gotten the most out of this course. Before starting this course, I would recommend that you make sure you install Inkscape and Krita. Inkscape and Krita are both available on Linux and Windows. Krita is also available on Mac. And if you want to install Inkscape on Mac, it's a bit more tricky. So I recommend, if possible, to rather use a Windows or a Linux computer. You also need to have a little bit of patience and perseverance. If you want to get the best out of this course, I recommend the following process. First, watch the whole video. No need to take notes or anything like that, unless you want to. Obviously, you can pause and rewind if you get a bit confused and lost, but the goal shouldn't be to understand every single detail, but just to get a general overview. At the end of each video, I usually give a so-called homework. I recommend that you restart the video and follow this video step by step. In this way, you will get some hands-on experience about what you have just learned. And hopefully anything you didn't quite understand on the first viewing will become clear when you're trying to do it yourself. In this stage, it obviously makes sense to pause and rewind the video quite often because the pace of the videos is quite high. And in as far as possible, I wouldn't recommend that you copy me exactly, but you do your own thing. Exercise that creative side of your brain. 
Remember though that I'm not your real teacher and you guys are pretty good independent learners just by the fact that you're here. So if you feel that you learn better in another way then do it in your own way. Also sometimes we all get a little tired and we might not have time but as a teacher I do recommend this way of learning. Once you're done with your own tile map world why not share it? Get some feedback, see what other people think of it, maybe get some useful pointers. An outside perspective is always helpful. So that's it for the introduction, time to get started. In the next video I'm going to give you some pixel art tips and tricks.